Now to Russia's latest attack on civilians in Ukraine, a strike on a shopping mall that had been packed with people. Ukraine's president says the death toll could be, quote, unimaginable. Our foreign correspondent, James Longman, is there on the scene in Ukraine for us. Good morning, James. Yeah, good morning, Robin. The recovery effort has gone on here all night. You can see firefighters, first responders still inside, hoping perhaps to find survivors. I think more likely a recovery effort now. But President Zelensky says he's hoping an air raid siren gave enough people enough time to get out. This morning, in the wake of the horrific Russian attack on a shopping mall in Kremenchuk, at least 18 people are dead, many others still missing, and over 59 injured, with officials calling this attack a mass casualty event. President Zelensky says that over a 1,000 civilians were inside the mall just before the missiles struck. This video circulating online shows moments after the strike, people desperately trying to escape. And for those unable to get out on their own, emergency workers rushing into the scene hoping to rescue any survivors. You can see this is a recovery operation underway. They're trying to get as much of this rubble out to see if there are any survivors. But look, this is just hell. The mall was miles away from the front line with no military significance. Russia has repeatedly, indiscriminately hit civilian targets since this war began. This is not only war against Ukraine, Russia against Ukraine. This is war of evil against good people. And at the hospital, an agonizing wait for news. Just been shown this photo of Tanya, Igor's girlfriend. He's too devastated to speak. They think she was at the mall. They can't reach her. President Zelensky labeled Russia the world's largest terror organization. <laughs> saying this attack is one of the most daring terrorist acts in European history. This as Western leaders meet at the G7 conference in Germany, meeting virtually with the Ukrainian president, the group calling Monday's attack a war crime. Now the G7, the NATO meetings, more advanced U.S. weaponry being sent to this country. All of that could be reasons why Vladimir Putin has stepped up his air attacks into Ukraine this week. Robin. It could very well be the case. All right. Thank you so much, James. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.